My grandparents were serious about hugging. Greetings or goodbyes were practised, precise. No arms looped wide so as to barely touch and shoulder pats like testing a scone top. But a full body grip disappear you in chest. Nothing English about it, their welcome was practised. Always an ice cream tub rattling kitful, each horseshoe sugar dusted and a hullet in the oven. Rising, when I was old enough, to lay the table I would place precisely as I could each cutlery, each cup and jug, each mat, each chair tucked and set, each course its own fork and each fork its place and around that table my place. And how many others tonight? My grandmother's approach to strangers was so wildly disarming as to confuse sometimes. I remember her asking a gardener in the grounds of a house a question about gardening, how he looked over each shoulder and then back to his weeding and then up to grandma and then over each shoulder again and only then a smile, a reply. To comprehend such ease, I learned to offer too much at entry, leave no one unsure. My grandparents lost too much in the war and now there is always knowing how language is a bed you sleep soundly inside, how a family name is a house. We practice jokes like our signatures and who better to tell than a stranger. So we set an extra place at the table, practice welcoming like faith.